Okay. We will go to G's homepage. Ginnovations.com and I have found the easiest way is to use product then selecting NASA M which you have a menu of downloads and we will be downloading NASA assistant software And make sure that you save the file at a place where you can easily find it. I choose to save it on my desktop. Okay, the GNASA install program has downloaded, so and I saved it on the desktop. So I will just double click. And let the program install what's needed. Okay. GNAS Assistant Setup Wizard If you want to you can change paths and stuff so I will just run the program by default create a desktop icon okay and finish now that we are ready with install I will just remove the install program from desktop and I will start GNASA configure program so it says sign in to your account we need to register if you not already have an account so I will just fill in all these parts okay I have signed up I have clicked on the link in the sign up email that I got so I'll just sign in And our NASA config program is running. That's good. So next part is starting the radio and connecting the battery to my Discover and NASA. All right, we have USB port that I will connect to the computer if I can find a hole. Our USB port is connected, so I turn on the radio and before I connect in the battery. I'm gonna change the camera angle so you can see what's happening on the screen. Okay, we're ready. I'm gonna plug in the battery. And my computer is installing device driver software. Hopefully, it 
it says device device driver software was not successfully installed so I'll go to computer right click choosing properties device manager and in we can see in device manager that the G controller is yellow and it says can the driver for this device was not installed so what we need to do is check the manual and it's saying if operating system tries to install driver automatically cancel it uh, we need to separately download the drivers on the G's home page where we downloaded the NASA assistance software if you scroll a bit down there are driver G driver installer so I will just download that package I select save and I will save it on the desktop it's a lot easier to find and we go to the desktop and we should have an icon saying G driver installer It asks me when I double click is the main controller powered up and connected to the PC via USB cable. I will select yes at this point because the USB cable is connected and the controller is powered on. So I select yes. I follow the guide. And there will be a new dialog box. Welcome to G Controller Driver Installer. Okay. We got a dialog box. Windows Security. It says Windows can't verify the publisher of this driver software. Uh, this is no virus or something else. It's just as simple that the G software engineering team hasn't signed their drivers. So in this case, I'm gonna select install this driver software anyway. If you choose do not install this driver software, you will never get your software to work so I select install and the computer continues to install the driver okay device updated everything looks good and finish so I'll just put the driver installer in the recycle bin and I will be starting oh sorry it's already running in the background and as we can see the software is communicating with the controller and in the top it says version does not match so this is the main we have installed the driver and the software and the computer is online with the controller